Join the Discord. Join the Discord. Hey kids, Radical Tony Hawk Pro Skater Bird here, telling you to practice abstinence. Remain pure. Virginity is cool. Taxes are bullshit. If the government wants money, it can get a job like everyone else. Arene exists. He's a ranged guard. I've never used him. Just a humble crab breeder with a perpetually horny face. They knew exactly what they were doing with this official art. In the underground circuits, Beyonder goes by many names. La Marca de Twitter. The Grossbrustiga Huma and the Brawlin' Bingus. Bubble is fucking annoying. She's not just loud, but she's stupid too. Kinda like Kaobi. Durins are kinda shit. What? What's that, viewer? You you like Durins? I see. I didn't know you like little little boys and girls. Guys. I think somebody's hanging over there. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Conviction is a gimmick, not a character. And that's a fact. Silver Ash's personal mailman, voiced by Thomas the Tank Engine. The ultimate hyper tank. The 50 minute scion of operators. When that skill is on, this bitch parks the bus like no other. So, do you want to talk about your feelings? Nah, I'm good. I do. I know, Cutter. I'm sad. I know, Cutter. Artists are a weird people. I think I already said something like this in the Dusk video, but come on. Deep Color actually makes living tentacles. This bitch saw a sexy Squidward, and it awoke something inside of her. With tactical gear looking straight out of a porno, Doberman is the big dog of operator training. The top G, you could say. And as a big dog, she's a lean, mean, toddler shredding machine. Maybe I'm too nice to the recruits. Should I try being more like Doberman? Hey, Ginger! Yeah, I'm talking to you with the brain dead fox on your head. That blocking was terrible. Are your hands the problem or your brain? Come on, tell me! <laughs> Durnar, you can't just insult them. I do tough love, it's not just insults. That's only like 90% of it. Voices in my staff and voices in my head? Shit, looks like they gotta talk to a real one. People who like Estelle like shy, meek, and vulnerable people as they're easy to manipulate and make dependent. Kinda like what Tectone said about Jessica in this video. Yeah, that's very creepy. Very manipulator and groomery. Then he talks about how great someone not having family is. Like your strongest support network? Yeah, it's pretty sus. I want to be a yo-yo man, he cried. Make me a yo-yo man. But the yo-yo master did not answer. He just kept on yoing. What kind of name is Frostleaf? What are you, some kind of warrior cat's kid? You make cat noises and crawl around on all fours? Gavial is a musclehead gym bro. Gym sis? Gym bro isn't a gender neutral term, is it? Anyway, Gavil is a big body meathead from an uncontacted tribe who comes to Rhodes Island to learn how to be a medic and for a rock cancer. How does the room temperature IQ, goldfish attention span crocodile do as a medic? Well, shockingly enough, she takes to healing like an e-girl takes to OnlyFans. Money from day one. Doctor, is it true you like melted wax on your balls? Sona, wait here. Jitano, Sona is one of the few women at this damn company without a laundry list of mental illnesses. I need you to stop telling her weird shit for no reason. But I read your horoscope today. Your star sign is supposedly very into that. I swear to every god on Terra, if you say star sign one more time, I will beat you to death. Gravel is quite something, what with the possessiveness and such. She has enough red flags to be mistaken for a worker's revolution. Aw oh, man, it's old shitty four-star gray. Sometimes you have to look back at the abysmal to see how far you've come. Mid. If you're stuck in a survival situation, you want someone like Gummy. She'll stay cooler than an ice cream truck in Siberia. Which is ironic considering she'll heat you up till you're a delicious golden brown over a fire. Maybe you actually don't want to be in a survival situation with Gummy. She eats people. 
Hayes is literally fucking dying. Like, she almost straight up dies in Golden Glow's story. She's out there vomiting up blood, but then she remembers she's a hot cat girl in a gotcha game and gets her shit together. I know it's hummus with one M, not two, but I can't help but imagine this man just being a mercenary for the money as he works to one day open a restaurant with the finest chickpea spreads known to man. Indigo likes lighthouses. Like, she really likes lighthouses. She likes lighthouses more than Japanese media like sexualizing high schoolers. I like Jackie. I don't have much more to say. She has nice energy. Her file even states that she has achieved the impossible! Being a police officer that isn't bigoted and hateful. Yeah, I have uh, one, two, three, four... Add the six, carry the one, eh, about 62,741 jobs. Do you even know what an investment portfolio is? Get away from me before your poor rubs off on me. Just looking at you is losing me money. La Cretura sighted. Missiles are away. Missiles on target. Target neutralized. Give me that creatine! I love steroids! And then so for the next part of this flower arrangement, we're gonna put the roses right here next to the tulips. Oh, that is just wonderful! How are you alive? That was an artillery shell. I'm like that. It got shot straight at you. You just ate it. I'm like that. I am a real detective! Stop laughing! Meteor is a boomer. You know the whole, Is this what the kids are into nowadays? All that technological mumbo jumbo. Back in my day, we went outside, we played in the dirt, and we were extremely homophobic! You know, that type? Mouse has two tails. This apparently makes her some kind of Japanese yokai, or at least related to it, but it's kind of weird, considering her family isn't really related to Japan, they're more, uh... Uh -huh. I sell baguette and sniff bike seats! Uh -huh. It's debatable whether Mer should even have a part in this video, she's so pointless. Hey Myrtle, did you finish your, uh, combat report? Yep, here it is. What, it just, it says DP. That's what I did. Like, I wanted you to print your combat report. Yeah, this is what I did. What, that, that's not even, it's what I did. Hello, I'm Lena, and welcome to my show where I make herbal and chemical remedies for all sorts of ailments. A cold? I can do that. Muscle soreness? I can help with that too. Lack of energy? Well... I remember you, you left my spirit, with you high is all I'm feeling, remember how we felt alive. God damn, some fine thigh meat on this one. I can see now, frozen pine cone thighs, coming to a supermarket near you! Podenko is an absolute menace. This walking chemical wonder weapon has roads fooled with her puppy dog eyes and mellow personality, but that's all just a ruse. I know what she is. My name is Podenko. I live at 308 Negro Rio Lane, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87104. This is my confession. I honestly thought making chemical weapons that melted the eyes of my victims was fucking hilarious. Pure Stream is at Rhodes Island to ensure high water quality. Now while that may seem routine, good, consistent water quality is important. Just ask Flint. Reading Quartz's profile is like finding her namesake in Minecraft. Meh. Yas Queen Soleil! Roberta screaming about cosmetics in the middle of battle is such tonal whiplash. It's like if Joe Biden randomly started talking about VTubers halfway through a speech about the fucking economy. Rope is a thief and con artist who was so insanely cracked and jacked at being a two-faced little shit after finally getting caught, the police chief sent her to us to, like, pay her to use her skills. My fucking god, this rat is gay! Good for her, good for her! Resident Friday Night Funkin' Fan, 
who like all other FNF lovers, is so obsessed with a simple little set of tricks she makes it her whole personality. At least Shaw is actually a rap god. I'm the best ninja in Lungman. I'm close to all the story characters in Lungman. Could I be the green ninja? When the imposter is sus. Ding, 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 ding. Totter is a mercenary who had a small but interesting part in the story of Chapter 11. He's also a Wii Sports Bowling prodigy. I really should have saved the titty bit for Utage, shouldn't I? Well, that's not a big deal. Utage is more interesting than Meteorite, after all. She's overall generally pretty chill. She likes to eat, chase trends. Kind of like Nikikato Avocado. She's also incredibly emotionally unstable when working. Kind of like Nikikato Avocado. Vermeil is a kid that got stuck alone in the woods, lost an arm, then was randomly saved and given a prosthetic arm by a guy from Laterano. Yeah, they haven't done anything with this storyline to my knowledge. Which is confusing, because it's pretty fucking crazy. Doctor, Pajemka has hit the second playground. Oh god, send in the child protection unit. Hello there, little ones. Want some candy? FBI, open up! 